Get out of here. Welcome to Mojo Plays, and in this installment of Versus, we're pitting Rockstar Games' two most acclaimed series against each other, Red Dead Redemption and Grand Theft Auto. We'll be looking at several categories to compare the strengths and weaknesses of both game franchises. Which series do you think deserves to be crowned king? Let us know in the comments below. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Round 1, Campaign Hurry! We ain't got long! Few companies hit the nail on the head when it comes to single-player campaigns like Rockstar. However, there can only be one winner in this epic showdown. Grand Theft Auto's campaigns typically follow the same linear path of a hungry street hustler rising through the ranks of the criminal underworld. Grand Theft Auto's most recent release, Grand Theft Auto V, differed by having three main protagonists. Because of the interwoven stories, Grand Theft Auto V's campaign allowed for more diverse and unique missions that centered around three differing player experiences. It incorporated the old with the new while still sticking to familiar formulas that have brought the franchise so much success. The story of Red Dead Redemption, however, is much more complex, thought out, and well written. While the series' first installment is technically Red Dead Revolver, the story of the latter two releases, Red Dead Redemption 1 and 2, spans the length of both games and follows the Vanderlyn gang and their subsequent downfall and tragic aftermath. Due to the time period and locations, mission variety can be limited when compared to GTA. While both Red Dead Redemptions offer some of the best moments in gaming, certain missions can feel like a drag. Players spend ridiculous amounts of time galloping to and from locations, and similarly styled shootouts can create deja vu. Although side missions in Red Dead Redemption 2 stand out for their uniqueness, the campaign can suffer from being repetitive at times, a problem which GTA 5 handled much better. Winner, Grand Theft Auto. Long time no see. Round 2, Music. With scores echoing that of famous composers such as Enino Morricone, it's hard for any other games to compete with the Red Dead franchise when it comes to music. Red Dead Redemption 2 has a sprawling collection of beautiful western-themed scores that not only complement the ambiance of its immersive world, but also its story and campaign. Certain scenes feel as though you are watching a movie, and others as if you traveled back to the 1890s. The grandiose soundtrack of approaching the Braithwaite Manor or fighting Micah's henchmen atop Mount Hagen is hard to beat. You must have known we would. Shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged. Grand Theft Auto, on the other hand, has always lacked a significant score that stands out amongst its real-world soundtracks. With wacky radio stations and famous songs, GTA satires American pop culture well, but it's unable to grasp cinematic elements from its music that engage players as well as Red Dead Redemption has. Grand Theft Auto V utilized its soundtrack in promotional materials, but failed to do so in-game aside from those same songs being played on radio stations. Abandonment issues. I see a shrink once a week. Except for GTA's famous loading screen themes, almost no other score stands out, and it very much looms in the shadow of Red Dead Redemption's epic composition of music pieces. Winner, Red Dead Redemption. Well, I got something to take care of, sure. Just you left, is it? Round 3, Multiplayer. GTA's latest stab at an online mode took some flack when it first launched back in 2013 due to the game not being fully optimized. But oh, how the times have changed. GTA Online has become one of the most successful games of all time, and it's a testament to Rockstar given how many people still play, considering it's 10 years old. While Rockstar is known for their epic single-player campaigns, GTA Online brought the genre of online free roam to new heights with its abundance of activities. Players can own penthouses, clubs, and even complete bank heists not to mention the amount of street racing. GTA 5's multiplayer took a massive leap from GTA 4 and firmly stuck the landing. Oh. 
Red Dead Online, however, is nowhere near as developed. Red Dead Redemption 2's online mode never really took off like GTA's latest entry did. GTA Online has more than triple the number of things to do, while Red Dead Online nearly died out just a year after its release. Although the game does consist of exciting deathmatches and posse missions, it simply hasn't been enough to keep players consistently hooked. It looks like we'll just have to wait for the next installment of the Red Dead franchise to see what Rockstar can conjure up with their Western multiplayer. Until then, GTA wins this round. Alright, you're good. Get to the buyer. Round 4, Characters. The end of the road. With a big house and a useless kid, and I'm stuck talking to you because no one else gives a shit. Oh, I'm living a dream, baby. The Grand Theft Auto franchise stepped up their character development significantly with their latest installments of GTA V. Michael, Franklin, and Trevor play off one another in a fantastic way and help each other's personalities and backstories thrive. However, some of the protagonists in older games can be very hit or miss. Not to mention, many side characters throughout the GTA universe are goofy and can sometimes be quite annoying. Because of this, many protagonists lack the support they need to really develop into memorable anti-heroes. The Red Dead series, however, has spent time with many of the same characters for its last two games. The Vanderlind gang feels heavily fleshed out and realized. We get to see just how far the gang has fallen given the backstory that Red Dead Redemption 2 provides. Not only do we stay with these characters for several years, but each one of them have their own motivations and morals. Arthur Morgan has been considered by many as one of the best video game characters of all time, and with good reason. Oh, makes sense now. No. It damn well doesn't. While many love GTA's over-the-top characters, there's no denying it doesn't come close to matching the depth and complexity of Red Dead Redemption's. Winner, Red Dead Redemption. I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often, neither do I. <laughs> but then, I meet someone like you. Round 5, Open World. When it comes to open world games, Grand Theft Auto helped set the standard for free roam environments. However, many GTA maps can lack variety, as they typically only encompass a mock-up of a single United States city. In GTA V, there's nothing quite like flying a helicopter around or scuba diving in the oceans of Los Santos, but it still doesn't help that two-thirds of the map is mountains and desert. Although still beautiful, the world can sometimes have trouble feeling truly alive. NPCs often react to the player in goofy and unrealistic ways, and the number of buildings or shops to actually enter is few and far between. While GTA perhaps takes the cake in the travel department, Red Dead Redemption 2's worlds are much more immersive, better constructed, and manage to maintain their own unique identity. From snowy mountains to cities and swamps, Red Dead Redemption 2 knocked its world building out of the park. Certain areas change as time passes, and NPCs go about their lives in believable ways. It feels as though you're part of a living and breathing world as you trek through America's heartlands. GTA V made massive improvements over its previous entries, but the franchise still has a ways to go in comparison to the variety and realism in Red Dead Redemption. Winner, Red Dead Redemption. I shall try. I know you will. Check out these other great clips from Mojo Plays, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos.